Okay, what's going on? So a common question that I get, a frequent question that I get is about plumbing a 12 volt system. It's incredibly easy, so let's walk you through it right here. So someone was asking, what uh, kind of feed hose do you need going from your tank to your pump? Well, I like to start with three quarter. This is what you call a bulkhead. This is what one looks like. Basically, what you do is you drill a hole in the bottom of the tank. This one right here is a three-quarter. This one is an inch and a half. You can do half inch. I'm sure you can go even bigger than, than this, regardless of what you need. But for a 12-volt system, you're either going to want a half inch, which is what this one is, or a three-quarter. Now, you drill your hole the size of this stem. And from the inside of the tank, you have to reach in from the top go all the way down to the bottom and you poke this through the hole you have this seal that presses up against the back of the tank and then this would thread on the piece coming out that will clamp your bulkhead to your tank give a nice seal and will leave you this internal female threaded area here then you can take something like this a 90 degree uh, uh, barb to male MPT thread that in there And then you'll have your bulkhead sticking out of your tank at the bottom and you can start running your hose now you plumb again i like to go three quarter so mine is a three quarter uh bulkhead to a three quarter uh barb running to a three quarter hose now that comes up directly into your manifold now most manifolds look just like this um, i typically want the path of least resistance for my water so I have it run to the middle one because it's going to run straight through. Due to the design of my system, I, I would have liked to have a straight barb here and run it right to the pump. Um, but because of the footprint of everything, kind of running out of real estate here, um, I had to do a 90. Not a big deal, but you know, 90s aren't great for water flow. And then you come straight down. You could absolutely run your water here. You could run your water here. It doesn't really matter. It's just getting rid of some of these 90s. I like the middle that's your straight flow so this being three quarter hose it's very hard to find if not impossible to find three quarter or one inch it is they are out there but it's it's very hard to come across at least when i was building mine so all these valves here are half inch now you can get three quarter uh one inch valves they look just like this but what you'll notice is that this black circle is in here that's very important because you can get three quarter and one inch one and a half inch probably two inch gf valves but they won't be metering inside here is a special cut ball valve that slowly lets the water or chemical through as you turn it it's a lot different from a regular ball valve. So when sourcing these, when, once you think that you might have a three quarter or a one inch, it's very important to make sure that it has this metering uh, uh, circle here or it says metering valve because I got duped a couple times. And I was getting ready to purchase and I'm like, wait, I don't think that this is a metering valve. If you don't have a metering valve, it won't do you any good. So with these being half inch and this being three quarter, one thing you can do is reduce your barb coming out of here. All of these have a barb coming out. Behind all these hoses is a barb like this, okay? There is a female MPT in here, half inch, going to a three quarter. Well, how would you do that? This right here is a banjo fitting. As you see here, this says three quarter, but the thread is half inch, so it's a reducer. So you have your three-quarter hose, and you can screw it into your half-inch um, female pipe thread going into your metering valve. And yes, you know, you are reducing it a little bit here, but then you go right back into three-quarter. Again, same here. This 90-degree here is a half-inch going into a three-quarter barb, okay? The one on the left is a three-quarter barb to half-inch. MPT, the one on the right is a half inch barb to a half inch thread. See, they're both the same thread, but the three quarter gives a lot more flow. So even though you are reducing to a half inch, you're still getting a nice bore. You're gonna have a little restriction in here, 
and then you're going to be opening back up to to the three quarter. Okay, so that then runs to here. Now this is where you kind of get the personal preference. This is a ball valve. I can turn this ball valve. You don't need it, but it does make things simple if you're going to add a filter because instead of undoing your filter here and all your water or if you have chemical in the line, whatever, um, just running all over, you can turn this ball valve. This is just a cheap three-quarter PVC uh, ball valve from Home Depot. You can get it from the hardware stores, whatever. Um, each side here is a female uh, three-quarter uh, threaded into <clears throat> and then it, so it goes into here it's hidden behind here but basically what you have is let's see after a while you will have a little bit of everything had them sitting here the whole time it's just again the, uh, this is the half inch but you would have a three quarter to three quarter threaded into here into your three quarter clamp down and again repeat the process a three quarter filter it's really nice to have a filter going in to so this is my feed okay this goes into my tanks I have a filter here and i have a filter before my 12 volt this is a big filter for my pressure washer it's nice to have a filter before going to the pump it'll help your the life of your pump but then again this is a three quarter um female uh I don't even know who makes this. Not not really important, but these are cup filters. You can find them all over the place. They have Y filters, all kinds of strainers. Um, these ones are just easy and clear to see in. But this is all three-quarter. Again, you have three-quarter barbs going in and out, running right to your pump. Now, I like three-quarter because this is a FlowJet. FlowJet has three-quarter inlets. Most pumps, if you're using an Everflow, some Rimco's, um, North Star pumps... They are all going to be half inch inlets right here, okay? These are all going to be half inch inlets. The three quarter pump, this flow jet, there's links in the description. The best pump I've ever used, the only 12 volt pumps I use, but they have three quarter inlets and outlets. So they love to have this feed and they work really well with it. If you have a half inch inlet, what you're going to need is something like this. Again, very common play, uh, found, commonly found at hardware stores or Home Depot. This is a three-quarter barb to half-inch barb. So you can go three-quarter into your uh, three-quarter barb into your three-quarter hose. And then you just put a little bit of half-inch hose on the end of this. And then your barb to go into your pump. Same thing on this side. You'd have your half-inch coming out, half-inch on this barb, into your three-quarter, and go on about your way. Now, that being said... This pump feeds really well into a three-quarter line. This one goes to the reel. This one feeds really well into a three-quarter line because it is a three-quarter inlet-outlet pump. It has the PSI and it has the flow capabilities to fill this hose with enough pressure and keep going all the way to your wand. I've never tried the three-quarter this way going to the reel with a half inch pump. I don't know if you would necessarily get the same flow. So you might want to do all of this. Your 12, 12 volt pump with a half inch uh, port will absolutely love the feed of three quarter. But once you come out of this side, you might want to just run half inch and half inch hose. This is three quarter going into five eighths because this pump will allow it. A half inch port, your ever flows, five and a half gallon per minute, even uh, seven gallon per minute pumps if they have half inch ports they might want to run better with half inch and half inch you're gonna have to try that out on your own um th like i said this is the pump i use this is the setup i use and it works really great i can't really speak for the half inch ports going into a three quarter and a five eighths um you guys can let me know um but this is really how simple it is to to plumb your uh, 12 volt pump. Okay.